Hey, 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 steady, Steve, please like and subscribe. Completely free. Completely free. Blood in, blood out, though. Aside. <laughs> Brackets. Nah, completely free. Click on the Deck Heroes icon. Click on subscribe. I'll ask nothing else in return. I'll try and give you the best content I can. And I pledge I will do. Oh, anyway, let's crack on. <laughs> anyway, number one was the helmet. Number two is the trousers. The briefs, this thing right here in the top left hand corner. And I have the Eternal Knight equipment for myself, mainly because it boosts defense. You know what I mean? So you got that. Uh, before I talk about the iconic, I'm just going to quickly say about why I've got Eternal Knight. It boosts defense. So Juan has got attack to burn. So the normal cycle is second number one in the first second of attack. You will attack, and it's based on your attacks. That's great. But then the second phase, they attack and you defend. Now, if your defensive stats are very low, you're relying on those low defensive stats. And then it also will feed into whatever your health stats are. You know what I mean? And those that defense and health adds up to how much um, your, your army is going to be depleted and how full your hospital is going to be. You know what I mean? So you need to, you've got to have a bit of defense. It's got to be balanced. For that reason, if none of the, if nothing else, so that's why I've got Eternal Knight. Um, but following on for what they've just said, then um, if you can boost your base health, you're going to have less wounded and severe and less severely wounded troops. So that is another good reason why to have Eternal Knight. And similarly, going on to point number two, ignoring enemy health. So yeah, basically another, it's kind of like a health debuff, debuff, <laughs> health debuff <laughs> for the enemy, which means they will have more severely wounded. They will have more kind of wounded troops, which means there's less army to counterattack against you. You will do more damage to them. All good news. <laughs> Unit capacity, hopefully I don't have to explain why it's more useful to have a bigger army. For example, say if you are fighting somebody who's got like 10,000 troops, of course you can smash them into the ground. If they had 50,000 or 100,000, you'd think, yeah, I've got a great chance. AKA, the bigger your army is relative to them, the more damage you're going to do. And then we move on to, oh my gosh, man. Oh, this is strong. Damage to troops on the map. Woof. I'm a melee kind of guy. I think we all are, aren't we? <laughs> so the more damage, we just got an extra one and a half percent. It's just giving us an extra one and a half percent damage to troops. So that's going to be all kinds of damage because it doesn't specify attack damage, counter-attack damage, skill damage, smite damage, 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 damage has been boosted by one and a half percent. Absolutely awesome. You know, maybe number two. <laughs> just thinking how good is number one going to be? So anyway, we go into the fifth skill. Whenever the Wilder's troop launches a basic attack, there's a 10% chance, aka a 90% chance not to happen, but a 10% chance to happen, to reduce the next skill damage it takes by 5%. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So again, it's not saying it's going to happen right now. You know, it's just going to 10% chance to trigger. And if... However many seconds are going to last for if your active skill triggers during that same time, like like the asking for two miracles. Um, you know what I mean? It's not saying that. It's saying, okay, you attack. Uh, let's read it again. Whenever the troops launches a basic attack, so that's going to be either, either just literally just attacks or also attack and counter attack. So it's either going to be every second or every other second. There's going to be that 10% chance that the next time you take skill damage is reduced by five whole percent. You just got to take it, aren't you? It's going to take it all day, all day and twice on Sundays. It's my number two, number two. So the helmet's number one and the toes is number two. All right, so I hope you found that useful if you did. And I, I listen, I also, I'm aware it's hard to get these pieces of equipment, but there are different events, um, you know, the, the search for history, whatever it's called, that one, whatever you can do in order to kind of direct which ones you will get first, obviously you're going to go for helmet, 
And obviously, in my point of view, and hopefully you agree, you go for trousers, and I will reveal the person or the, the item in third place in the next exciting installment. So please like, <laughs> please click on the Decuos icon, click on subscribe, completely free. That is Steve, and I am out.